Hello to all of my fabulous co-workers, beautiful friends, and those who are just stumbling across this on YouTube randomly. Welcome to Learning with Ms. H. I am going to help save you tons of time, headache, and hassle here at the start of the school year. You're looking at power school. We've all used it. We know that it's got its quirks. I've been teaching for 15 years, and the one thing I've been asking for and wanting for 15 years is a way to just set my classroom up once and then copy it to all of the other hours of the day. I don't know how long this has been an actual feature, but we can do it. I just found this this morning, and I am so excited it's not even funny. Like, it's the little things in life, you guys. At my school... In my district, we have eight class periods a day, plus an academy time once a week. That means even with a plan hour, we still have eight seating charts we have to make at the beginning of the year. This is going to save me so much time. I am so excited. We're going to go into my first hour. I already have my classroom layout set up in my first hour. You're going to have to do that at least once um, just to get the ball rolling. So go ahead and go into seating chart design. Set up your class the way you want it to look. I've got my lab benches along the walls here. Um, I have my student desks in the middle. We've got the features at the front of the room. Um, I apologize for the background noise, you guys. I've been cramped up inside for a month from my ankle surgery, and it's nice today. I wanted to come outside, sit down, hang out, and enjoy the nice weather while I did these recordings. And the cicadas have come out in full force. At least the neighbors stopped cutting down the tree three doors down for a little bit. Um, but it's later than I thought it was, so we have cicadas in the background. Hopefully it's not too bad and you can still hear me. When I go inside and listen to this, if it's really bad and you can't hear what I'm saying, I will re-record the audio, dub over it, and make it so you can hear me. Hopefully it's not too bad. So, set your classroom up the way you want it for the first time. Um, make sure that you give this layout a name so you can see that I have the new layout that they gave me, a roster layout and a blank layout. This one is the blank layout. Um, you can click edit, call it whatever you want. You can give it a description or not. Save it. Um, you're going to need to be able to find this in a list later on and having it have a specific name makes it really easy. I'm going to do this without populating my students into the layout. Uh, because I'm going to post this online and I don't want to show my students online. But you can do this after you've transferred your students over. So if you're like me and have more than one class and some of your kids take more than one of your classes, like I have kids that are in all three of my classes, you can set your layout, populate your students, and you can transfer it with the students populated as well as the blank one that I'm going to show you. And then if any of your students are in more than one of your class and you transfer that that layout over, it will actually transfer those students in those same seats. Now, obviously, it won't do that if the students aren't in that class. It'll give you empty seats, but it's really nice for those of you that have students that may be in more than one class. What do we do with this? And I'm going to show you. You've got your classroom all set up in first hour here, whatever hour you want to do it in. I'm going to go back to the main Power School page. I'm going to click another class period. So I'm going to go into my second hour class. I'm going to wait for it to load. I'm going to not pre-populate so that it does not transfer all the names over in a big long line. Go to seating chart design. Once we're in here, you're going to go up to this drop down menu again. Click on it and you're going to click the new layout that has the brackets. If you click this one down here on the bottom, it's not going to do anything because you're already in it. You want the one that has the brackets so it gives you the pop up box. In the pop-up box, you're going to rename it. I'm just going to call it an example. You can give it a description if you want. Um, this name is what's going to show up when you print off the layouts. So for mine, I'm going to say Ms. H Hour 2 Forensic Science. That way when I print it off for my boss, or I save it as a PDF to put it in the folder for contact tracing, all the information they need is right there. Down here at the bottom of this box is what's important. It says create a new layout from scratch or start from a pre-existing layout. We're going to toggle on start from pre-existing. And what that's going to do 
is when I click next, I'm going to get a list of layouts that I've already created, including in other classes. Here's first hour, here's fourth, fifth, all the way down. I'm going to choose the one that says blank because that's what I named it. So this is my blank layout. Make sure it's toggled on. And that's going to pull in my layout that I've already created. So instead of starting from a blank screen and having to redo my entire classroom layout, it's going to take 10 seconds, pull that layout in, and then all I have to do is put my students on. They started cutting down the tree again. I'm sorry. The other thing I want to show you on this pop-up is this checkbox down here at the bottom. If you're like me and have that issue where you have multiple students or students that are in multiple classes, you leave this checked and you pull in the layout that has that student in it, it's going to put them back in that exact same seat. I would just leave it checked. That way, if I happen to find a student that that's the case, it does it automatically. If you want to move them around throughout the day or say they're in a different seat because they can't handle who they're next to in the other class, you can just uncheck it and it's totally fine. When you're done here, you're happy, you've got the correct layout, you've checked the box or not, you click finish, it takes less than 10 seconds, and there is my classroom design. So instead of taking five minutes per class, it's literally like 15 seconds. Hopefully this helps you guys. Um, if you have questions, you can contact me. I can help walk you through it. You'll probably have to come to me or do it on the phone, but I can help walk you through it if I need to. You're welcome. Please do not do what I've done for the last 15 years and do this the hard way. Do it the quick, easy way. I will see you guys next time.